This video will give you an insight into the exciting and challenging day of a typical aerospace engineering student at the University of Bristol. The university prides itself for its academic excellence and with aerospace engineering at Bristol being ranked third in the UK, you can expect teaching from world leading experts whilst using high tech equipment in laboratories throughout your degree. There are many undergraduate residences at Bristol, either being catered or self catered. In catered halls, you'll get to grab your breakfast before heading into uni. The undergraduate residences are located throughout the city, including the student village at Stoke Bishop. Stoke Bishop is next to the Durden Downs, a lush green area just a short bus ride away from uni, allowing a mini escape from the busy city life. As an aerospace engineer at the University of Bristol, you'll spend the majority of your time in Queen's Building, which is home to the Faculty of Engineering. You'll be taught the theory of disciplines such as aerodynamics, structures, materials, engineering mathematics and much more in one of the many lecture theatres. Throughout your time here you'll be given the opportunity to work on a large array of both individual and group projects. In the second year you'll be part of a team designing and building a fully actuated 10 foot wing and testing it to disruption. In the fourth year, you have the opportunity to design a fixed wing, rotary or spacecraft vehicle to meet a specification set by Airbus or Leonardo. You'll also have an individual research project to work on with academics within the department. Here I'm working on my final year research project, developing a new material which can self-heal and testing it for space applications. The university is not located on a campus, but rather its buildings are situated within the city in close proximity to each other. This allows students to be fully immersed in Bristol's brilliant culture. Student welfare is important and you'll often meet with your personal tutor to discuss your work, career ambitions and anything else that's on your mind that they might be able to help you with. The course is made up of modules which will be assessed using either coursework in the form of technical reports or examinations which take place in January and May or June time. An example of this coursework is planning an interplanetary mission using high-end software alongside the theory of orbital mechanics that's taught in lectures. There are also flight simulators which are used to demonstrate flight dynamics and teach the effects of control in flight. For those of you aspiring pilots or those who would like to give it a go, there is a chance to have a gliding sortie free of charge during your second year. Time management is essential to keep on top of your studies. The library, situated in Queen's Building, holds a vast number of books which are free to use for research or to help with lecture content. It is also a place where you can prepare for examinations and write up your technical reports. By mid-afternoon, the day is usually yours and you can decide what to do next. A lot of students make use of the university gym to keep fit. Whilst there's also the option of joining any of the university sports clubs and societies, engineering houses its own rugby, netball and football team which allows you to meet people within the department. As important as it is to stay on top of your academic work, it's equally important to relax, unwind and socialise with friends. Bristol has a diverse social scene, from film clubs to gaming societies, from sports teams to food appreciation groups, and from great live music venues to the most popular nightclubs in the UK, Bristol has it all. Further information about the University of Bristol and the Aerospace Engineering degree are available on the University of Bristol's website. We look forward to welcoming you to Bristol soon.